In order to accomplish the adhesion test, ASTM C794, the following products are required. AdSeal 6003 Cleaner, AdSeal MK60095 Primer, Sealant Tube. The required instruments are two types of spatulas, one utility knife, one template, one aluminum mesh, one substrate. In this case, we are demonstrating with glass, but several other substrates can be used. Measuring device, Instrom. The first step is to wash the substrate with AdSeal Cleaner 6003 solvent. It's important to wait roughly 20 minutes for the solvent to evaporate completely. It's recommended to use the two cloth method, which includes first washing the surface with a damp cleaning cloth, then wiping with a dry cloth before the solvent evaporates. Refer to document application procedure for sealant movement and waterproofing joint for more details. The sealant must be applied within the hour following substrate cleaning in order to avoid surface contamination. Attention! In the case where the application could not be done within one hour, the first step consisting of cleaning the surface must be done again. If necessary, apply AdSeal Primer MK60095 an hour before sealant application to prevent further contamination. Then allow primer to dry for approximately 20 minutes. The next step is to place the template on the substrate so that you can apply the appropriate sealant. Press the aluminum mesh into place with the small spatula. Here the sealant must pass through the aluminum mesh. The mesh will be sandwiched between two layers of sealant. The next step will be to gently remove the template before the sealant has formed a skin. The assembly must then dry for 21 days at 25 degrees Celsius in 50% relative humidity in a controlled temperature and humidity oven. This test will be performed on three samples to obtain an average force value of pounds per linear inch, as well as to observe different types of possible failures. This stage of the test is very important. The assembly will be inserted into the Instrom. The jaws of this meter will be perfectly aligned to prevent the trellis from being torn, as well as to prevent the latch from tears. Should this occur, the test is deemed ineligible. At this point, the 180 degree peeling begins at a speed of 2 inches per minute. It is therefore possible to observe a separation of the aluminum mesh from the glass and breakage of the sealant. This test gave us the expected results. The break is cohesive, which means that the rupture occurs at the level of the sealant and not at the level of the substrates. We also have a force that meets the expectations of this type of sealant. This test is also used to obtain the AAMA 802, 803, 805 standards under different temperatures and immersion conditions.